Hello everyone and welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards. Today we are going to open up a new uh, product, the 2019 Topps Gallery. This is the, what do they call this? I think this is called the Monster Box or the Mega Box. Um, but what it comes with is five cards in a pack, 20 packs, guaranteed two autographs. You can only get this at Walmart, so it is a retail um, product. And... The odds on a lot of this are pretty long, but if you look at this, um, there's private issue odds. There's green, blue, orange, red parallel, obviously printing plate, uh, autograph parallels, and then there are other uh, Hall of Fame gallery inserts and masterpiece inserts. So uh, there's a Master and Apprentice inserts. Um, there's also, the set has... 200 cards the last 50 cards number 151 through 200 are short print most of those are retired players um and you can also get this in a blaster box form but um most of the parallels are only found in the monster box so the one thing the blaster box gives you there's like a four card pack of a blaster box exclusive parallel i'm spacing out on which one that actually is but um if you're looking for the color parallels, um, this is probably the way you want to go. Plus, you get the autographs. There is guaranteed to be two. So, 100 total cards, big box, probably a lot of packaging, and not a ton of packs. They do have 20 uh, in the pack, but this box seems rather big for 100 cards. Um, so, anyways, we'll crack this thing open and see what we can find. Um... The good news, I did look at the, oh, there is, oh, you know what? I did not know this, but there is also a gallery box loader, so we'll hold on to that and open that here in a little bit. Um, so, I did look at the checklist. There are, it's pretty similar to, call it, update, uh, maybe a couple new rookies in there, uh, but your standard rookies... Senzel, um, Tatis, Vladimir, um, some of the newer ones like uh, Vigio, so that those are in some of these. So without further ado, let's crack some packs here and see what Gallery has to offer. Sort of a first look. Um, I've studied up on this a little bit. Um, so as you can see, most of them, um, if you know anything about Gallery, they are all artist renditions. Um, so that is a Matt Chapman. This is a rookie card, Daniel Ponce de Leon. One the, uh, there's a Yusei Kikuchi. And, for, and here we go, right off the bat. This is the gallery private issue. This is a rookie card of Framber Valdez. Um, and we have a Clayton Kershaw to round off the pack. But, so the private issue, if I'm not mistaken, these are going to be like one per box. Um, yeah, it's one per 14 pack. So you might find two of them. Um, but generally speaking, not a bad little insert to get. So we'll go ahead and sleeve, give Framber a quick little sleeve here. We'll try and put some of the, some of the highlights of the box out in here. And then the other thing, keep in mind, um, anything over 151 on the number, here's the back of the cards. Anything over one, 151 and above is going to be a uh, short print, um, there is 200 cards, like I said, in the set total. So, no, do the next pack. So, this is... Wow, that is a tough pack to open. Um, it's like a Pokemon pack right there. Um, so, this is kind of a... It, uh, gallery's been around for a while. Um, and it's kind of a different take on what a baseball card can be. Always kind of a fun set to open. Manny Machado, Jose Ramirez, um, Pedro Avila, rookie card. And there is our first auto. This is going to be JD Hammer, rookie card, um, <laughs> with the Chris Sabo glasses. So that is JD Hammer. That's going to be our first auto of the box. Um, Number two, 124. Let me grab a quick top loader for that. Um, it does have his minor league stats. So we have a pitcher auto. Um, and that is 
Mr. Hammer, who I think was in, is he in Holiday? I'm pretty sure he's in Holiday, so let's put Mr. J.D. Hammer up there. Um, and then, let's see, we had Francisco Lindor. We have not hit any of the, outside of the private, uh, outside of the private issue, we have not hit any of the inserts yet. Um, so we'll do a quick check. There are some active players in the short print. Um, that's why I'm checking the back of the cards. So be sure to look when you're look if you buy a, any of these, uh, they go for, I think it's like 79 bucks at Walmart. Um, but if you're buying any of these, be sure to look at the back for the short print. Uh, here is a Raphael Devers and, um, Mitch Keller rookie card. Wilson Contreras. That's a nice looking card. Uh, Cody Bellinger. And Cody Bellinger is a short print. I thought so. I looked at the short print list. So that is a short print right there. So we're going to give Cody a sleeve. Um, recently, and this is an Apprentices um, insert. So the Apprentices. Let's see. Let me go back. Let's go back and look at our... I'm not sure. What did that say? A masterpiece autograph insert. Gallery Heritage. Master and Apprentice. So I'm not sure. This one is actually isn't listed, but you notice it does say Apprentices there on the bottom. So kind of a cool card. Um, maybe that's part of the short print. I don't know. So, but this one we will definitely put out on our little display here for a short print. And then we also have Nikki Lopez to round out the pack. Let's do a quick search. Probably, I think you're supposed to get four of the short prints per box. So not terribly hard to find the short prints. It's about one in five packs. Um, interesting that that one says apprentices though. Ooh, and there is the Fernando Tatis Jr. There's one of the key rookies. Um, of 2019. This card, very nice um, artist rendition. This is the one that they are highlighting on the Beckett site right now, if you want to read up more on that. So we will keep our rookies over there so we can keep an eye on them. Uh, Mike, uh, Fult I can never say this guy's name, Fultonowitz, Taylor Ward, and it looks like we're going to have Ooh, this is a nice one. So this is a Ken Griffey Jr. Masterpiece insert. Um, these, and then there's Kluber, Corey Kluber on the Indians. This is not a numbered one, but it does say, it talks about the artist, um, the masterpiece. We're going to look at odds again. Sorry that I keep going back to the odds, but um, I think the masterpiece is... Let me go back. Hall of Fame Gallery. Uh, give me one second. So, yeah, the masterpiece is 1 in 10, but that is a Ken Griffey Jr., so that's a Hall of Fame. Um, nice little insert card, so we are sleeve that up. So we'll do a quick little highlight of the box, and I'll give you my review afterwards. Um, by the way, the Tatis is not a short print high number. High number short print is what I should say. Um, but let's open up the next pack here. Our next, oh, oops, almost went backwards. Uh, there's the Cavan Biggio right there. And it looks like we have a green parallel masterpiece coming up with the, which the, uh, the parallels are actually really, uh, the odds on them are pretty long. I'm surprised at how long the odds are, but there is a Cavan Biggio. That's a nice rookie. So before we get to that, um, this looks like it's going to be a pretty loaded pack, so that's this should be fun. There is the Chris Bryant, and this is the... So here is the next insert. This is going to be um, the Master and Apprentice, and before we show off this card here, we'll go like this. Um, so this one is Tony Gwen and Manny Machado. So this is one of the inserts, kind of a cool... I like that it's got the San Diego arch um, in the background. Kind of a cool little insert card here. So we'll, 
I normally will sleeve up an insert. Um, so we'll do that. And then we, like I said, we have the Chris Bryant. And then this is a green Frank Thomas. I think green is going to be numbered to 250. So this is a Frank Thomas uh, green parallel masterpiece. Nice little hit right there of the big hurt of Chicago White Sox fame. So to give the odds on this, I'm actually surprised at how long the odds are to pull. Um, I think green is the most common one you can pull. But um, so on the masterpiece, that is going to be green is one in 174 packs so a nice little hit right there we're going to go ahead and top load that um 174 packs is pretty i mean you're talking that's basically about that's kind of let's see if there's 20 packs i'm not sure how many are in a case but i would venture to say that that's probably like getting a case hit. Oh, and then we do have our last one, which is Jalen Beeks. Um, I don't think any of these are short print. That was a pretty nice pack right there, though. Um, so anyways, uh, if you would like, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you think about Gallery um, and how it kind of compares up to some of the other sets that Tops, Panini, and others have released this season. I will say one thing. These packs are not... I mean, these packs, these are just like Pokemon packs. They're difficult to open. Um, the cardstock is, it's standard weight cardstock, but it, it is kind of that nice, it's got a nice feel to it. Um, there's Trevor Story. There's Ryan Helsley. Um, Mookie Betts. And this is the Topps Gallery Heritage. This is also an insert. Um, so that is Gary Sanchez. This is not numbered. So this is the base insert. Um, kind of a cool stamp, though, at the top. Let me see if we can grab that for you. So the stamp's kind of a nice... Um, I mean, this is kind of a nice-looking set. Um, so this kind of pulls from the Heritage fame, but still uses the artwork. Uh, so that's kind of a neat insert um and then we have domingo santana and we will do a quick check for yeah, i didn't think so okay so our next pack try and speed this up a little bit for you guys um wow man these are these packs are really hard to open compared to most packs um here we go we've got Kyle Tucker, rookie card. That's a nice one. Um, Christian Stewart, Lane Thomas. So this is a rookie pack. And there we go. This is a Ted Williams Masters. This is going to be a short print as well. Um, so high number short print. So that's what it is. The uh, So on the short prints, it looks like the retired stars are called Masters. And the active stars in the short prints are called Apprentices. So that is a short print Ted Williams. Nice card. And then we also have Mr. Lance McCullers Jr. to round out the pack. We are going to put Kyle Tucker in a quick sleeve. Um, so kind of a, so that is our second short print of the box. Still looking for another auto. Maybe get another parallel. Um, we'll have to just wait and see. I'm wondering if you get 100 cards per pack and it's a 200 card set, how many boxes it would take. To complete the set, probably three or four is my assumption. Uh, Reese Hoskins, Dakota Hudson, Bryce Harper. And there is our second auto. It is Mr. Danielle Ponce de Leon. And there's a Noah Syndergaard. So Danielle Ponce de Leon, Ponce de Leon, depending on how you say it. Um, so that is our second auto. So our two autos out of this box are going to be J.D. Hammer and Daniel Ponce de Leon. There are um, there are bigger autos in this um, in this set, and there are a lot of them. I think there's 118 uh, autos in the checklist. But for us, we are going to take these two, um, and. We'll put that next to Mr. Frank Thomas. Not sure that the gallery box loaders, the top loaders over here, are um, that those are 
autoed. I didn't read that they were. I don't think they are. Um, so I don't think there's any auto parallels of the box loaders. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. Um, so our next pack here is going to be Brandon Rogers, Freddie Freeman, Shohei. Uh, that is a weird looking Shohei, though. The color on that card is odd. Um, and here is another Topps Tribute um, insert. That is Manny Machado. And oh, well, looks like we're, oh, I got to pull some more penny sleeves out. Um, and we have Eloy Jimenez. So we'll put Eloy in there. And we will put Manny. We'll sleeve that up real quick. And so. I think we're about halfway through the box. We'll see what else we get. Um, so it is it, uh, what I. One thing I do like is that it's easy to identify the short print high, the high number short prints with the master and the apprentice uh, um, printed on the front of the card. That way, we're not searching numbers on the back of a card. Um, Kyle Freeland, Elvis Luciano. Rookie card, Kevin Newman, and this is another Master and Apprentice. This one is going to be Manny Machado and Fernando Tatis, which is interesting because apparently Manny Machado is a apprentice on the other card, and there is the Chris Paddock rookie card. Did I show you the Kevin Newman? Did we go through Kevin Newman? I think we did. So there's the Master. Uh, the other thing I like is they've got the gold foil printed. Something you don't see as much as you used to on cards. When I was a kid, I always used to love the gold foil. Um, so I like that they've got the gold foil on there. Um, kind of a neat little throwback printing technique. So our next pack here. Man, these are, I tell you, these are really difficult packs to open. Um, not sure. Not sure why they did it that way. But if you've been... I'm, I've been opening up so much Chrome lately that these all of a sudden seem hard. So there is Mr. Juan Soto, World Series champion, Zach Greinke, uh, Trevor Bauer. And this has one, two, this has six cards in it. So that is interesting. I think it's only supposed to have five. Trevor Bauer, uh, Tyro Estrada, and this is why. This is the featured artist card. Uh, there's a Heath Fillmeyer. Now, I am not sure. This is an interesting card. This is not in the set. This may be just highlighting who the artists are. I'll have to look this up. Uh, she was an Allen and Ginter. I know she had her own card. Um, an Allen and Ginter. I think she's one of Top's top cards tops top artists so this is interesting that this card's in here but um i'll have to look that one up it it notice that it is i think it's just a promo um but kind of cool that it highlights who the artists are imagine having to draw all these baseball players um that would be interesting um so here is verlander cy young winner Mr. Max Muncy, that's a nice one. His, I mean, that almost looks like a picture. Um, Brian Buxton. And, ooh, a third auto. You're only supposed to get two. But, wow, this is a Pedro Avila. And there's Pete Alonzo right behind it. This is a Pedro Avila parallel number 38. Let me see if I can get that on there. 38 to 50. So this is of the Padres. So very cool that we pulled three autos. Um, I would be lying if I say I wasn't a little disappointed in the first two autos. So the blue, number 38 to 50, the odds on that are going to be, let me see here, autograph orange, uh, autograph blue is one in 154 packs. Um, so there is Pedro Vila. We're going to top load this. Very cool that we pulled a parallel and a third auto out of a box 
that goes for basically $80. Um, to pull three autos, to put that in reference, the new high-tech set um, only gives you 18 cards and three autos, but I think that is going for around $140 to $150. So, um, and you only get 18 cards on top of it. Now, are they nice? Do they have a lot of printing technique? Yes. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we even do that, I didn't even sleeve up Mr. Big Meat Pete, another Pete Alonzo rookie. Very cool. Um, and then, you know, I've kind of stopped looking, but we should find two more short prints. Maybe we'll even find some more parallel. Uh, so this is Gary Sanchez, Andrew McCutcheon, Buster Posey. And there is a Mark McGuire Masters. That's going to be another short print. And a Carson Kelly. Um, the Carson Kelly is a name that is not in a lot of sets this year. Um, so good to see Kelly gets a card. So there's a Mark McGuire sh high number short print. Um, Carson Kelly, huh? Nice. Um, then we've got, let's see who else we've got here. Only a few more packs to go. I'll try and speed this up a little. Let's, opening these packs, it takes a little, it's a lot of packs. It looks like we've got more parallel. Uh, Matt Carpenter, Austin Meadows. That it does not have, oh wait, well of course it wouldn't because it's 2000. Ooh, and there's a Juan Soto, nice. Uh, Topps Heritage insert, and right behind it is going to be a nice Bryce Harper blue parallel. This is 40 out of 50. Wow. So, lots of color in this box all of a sudden. So, sometimes the short print parallel color um, these let's see the non-auto are the odds on those are going to be again blue is to 174 so one out of 174 packs uh, so this box has actually produced three autos and two blue parallels so this box is a quality quality box uh, we're going to take cody off of here um, and we're gonna put Bryce up there. And then our last card in that pack is the Machine Albert Pujols. Um, I do wanna give Mr. Juan Soto, uh, by the way, the, uh, the Heritage insert seems to be a little bit thicker um, than the rest of the card stock. Um, so another reason why you would probably wanna buy a Monster Box versus a Blaster Pack. Um, because you never know with pack searchers, they'll pick up on that real quick. I um, actually found a website today that I stumbled upon. There's a, I, I did not know there was a whole website dedicated to pack searching. Um, and they have a YouTube channel. So I went and thumbs down all of their videos today out of spite. Um, let's see. Daywell Lugo. That's another reason to support your local card shop. That stuff doesn't happen as much there. Uh, John Duplantier, Adam Simber, and another Master and Apprentice. This looks like Mr. Babe Ruth and Aaron Judge. So that's a nice, uh, that's a nice little insert to get. Babe Ruth and Judge. Lots of Yankees fans. This card would be an easy card to sell on eBay for a buck or two, maybe. Um, but if you're trying to complete that set, um, probably one you would want to hold on to. Um, and what I have learned is there is a ton of Aaron Judge uh, PC people. I'm sure there would be a lot of Babe Ruth PC people um, if there were people with more money in the world. <laughs> so so uh, anyways, continue on here and we'll get Merrill Kelly, Chris Sale, Austin Riley, nice rookie, and a Miguel Cabrera masterpiece again, uh, and then Pablo Lopez on the Marlins. Again, this is a base masterpiece. Um, two of these in a box, so uh, that's a Miguel Cabrera. So our two bases were nice ones. I think we got a Ken Griffey Jr. earlier, um, and then um, we also got the Frank Thomas Green. I'm going to put Austin Riley in a quick little sleeve here. 
um, while we do this. So now we're down to our last four packs. It's been a very good box so far. We've still got more to go, which is kind of nice. Um, let's see, we've got Kyle Schwarber, Carter Ka uh, Keyboom, Anthony Rizzo is coming up next. And there's a interesting card here. This is a Hall of Fame, Mel Ott. I think this is one per box. Yeah, this, so this is another insert. Mel Ott, this is Giants. Mel Ott played a long time ago. Um, so this is a Hall of Fame card. Again, a lot of gold foil. Um, let's see, the Hall of Fame cards are, if I'm not mistaken, Hall of Fame gallery insert, one of 10. So this is actually not a hard one to pull, but it's the first one in our box. So we might actually see another one before it's all said and done. And there is a Jacob de Grom. All right, next pack we've got, let's see, man, these, I'm not kidding you. These are difficult to open um, compared to a lot of the, there he is, Mr. Mike Trout. What do we do with that on this channel? We sleeve that. That's a nice looking Mike Trout too. That almost looks like, I mean, that is almost, that is, pic, as they would say, that's picturesque. Mr. Mike Trout, the GOAT, just won his third MVP. He's only 28, guys. Uh, DJ Stewart, Reese McGuire, and here is a Corey Seager apprentice. And the Ramon Lorano. That's a nice Lorano rookie card. I like that. Um, so we'll put the Corey in there. Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't go back and look at the rookie of the year voting, uh, but Ramon Lorano had to have been up there in the American League. Um, I know Jordan Alvarez won, but I would love to see where Ramon Loreno actually placed in the American League. It was kind of a thin year for the American League, um, but not terrible. Um, let's see. Next pack. Michael Kopech should be back next year. There's a Keston Herrera, um, or as I like to say, Keystone. Um, I don't know why I like to say that, but it's kind of my nickname for him. Um, and I don't know why it's my nickname, but I think it has something to do with my stepdad who always used to put tone at the end of things. So there's a keystone uh, as I throw that card around. Mr. Mike Clevenger, that is a guy to keep an eye on. And here we go. Uh, you say Kikuchi all the time. Tops Heritage insert. Um, man, my penny sleeves are flying all over the place over there. Um, so that's another one of the inserts and Patrick Wisdom to round out the pack. Okay, last pack. We've already had a great box. Let's see if we can get one more hit out of this. Um, boy, did that get screwed up. I've been worried about that the whole time. Um, look at that. On the bottom, it opens right. It's just like a Pokemon pack. So let's see this is what we get. Luis Arise. And by the way, if you guys are not familiar with Luis Arise, I would get familiar with him quickly. The Twins historically know how to uh, raise their talent. And Arise is one of the guys that is going to come up through that system and probably surprise a few people. So that one will get a sleeve for me. We've got a Mr. Jose Altuve. He may bang on trash cans. Uh, Jose Barrios. And finally, we've this looks like a Mookie Betts and a Ted Williams um, Master and Apprentice. So you do get four of those box and the Justice Sheffield rookie card. So um, here's my thoughts on gallery. Um, you gotta like artwork. You gotta like paintings. That's the first thing. I can see how some people would not like this set. Um, only because the artist renditions. I think people really like photography. But I also see a little bit of the beauty in art and cards. As you guys know, if you follow my channel, um, I actually work in a creative field. 
um, and appreciate some of the artwork but then when you talk about what's the value oh wait hold on before we do that we do have one more to open before i show you the hits we do have the box loader um let's see not sure that we'll get much out of here i'm not a huge fan of box loaders i use them for uh des set designs um if i took some of these boxes away you would see some allen and ginter box loaders uh so let's see who we get out of here I think we're gonna get a good one that's at least there's that um, but so our box loader is gonna be mr. Juan Soto the reason I'm not a huge fan of them is I go okay give me a penny sleeve and a top loader and I don't have any and top loaders for these things often cost more than the card that you get itself but we will put Juan Soto back here that one may be worth something. Okay, so let me uh, do a quick recap. Like I said, it's 100 cards. Um, do I think that there's value in this set? Uh, the answer to that would be yes. Um, you do get two autos. As you guys saw, we actually got three. Um, and one of them was a parallel auto. We did not get any of the huge rookies. Um, the other thing that I will say in this set, which is kind of nice, is that you can actually get, there is non-auto rookies, and that's a big deal. Um, because sometimes an established star uh, autograph is going to go much more than a rookie autograph. Um, so that's something to keep in mind there. So here we go. Uh, key rookies. We did get a Pete Alonzo. Um, here is it. I think we got four master... Uh, a, a master and Apprentice cards um, and we got three or four of the Heritage cards that's Manny Machado another key rookie Keston uh, short print Corey Seager uh, Mike Trout goat <laughs> um, and then we did get one of the Hall of Fame Mel Ott inserts Carter Keyboom key rookie Austin Riley key rookie uh, two masterpiece uh, base so let's set these up I don't know if you guys can see this. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to scroll this down a little bit for you um, so you can kind of see what we're looking at here. Um, so we've got the Miguel Cabrera, the Master and Apprentice Babe and Judge, Juan Soto Heritage. That's a sweet insert. Cody Bellinger Short Print. So two Dodger Short Prints. Then we did get the Mark McGuire. Not the, that's a weird-looking painting of him a little bit I know they were trying to capture kind of the intensity of his eyes but he kind of looks a little odd there uh, Yusei Kikuchi insert Eloy Jimenez uh, key rookie Kyle Tucker key rookie uh, Ted Williams masters that's a short print uh, high number short print Ted Williams Mookie Betts master and apprentice Luis Arise key rookie uh, Gary Sand, Master and Apprentice, which one, uh, this was Tony Gwen and Manny Machado. Um, then we also have Kevin Biggio, another key rookie, and uh, the Fernando Tatis Jr. key rookie. Um, then we got the Masterpiece. We did get two, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., we got two Masterpiece, um, which is what you're supposed to get. And then within the box, not sure if there's a lot of boxes where you're going to get three autos, but that did happen. Um, here one so you can go up here like that um, here's what we got so we got a base uh, auto JD hammer this is a rookie by the way these are uh, sticker autos they're not hard signed so keep that in mind when you're buying these uh, so we did get the JD hammer um, we'll put this back up here uh, we did get a Bryce Harper blue parallel um, nice nice parallel to get um framber valdez this is the stamped uh private issue private uh, private gallery issue i think you can get you'll get one of these in a box um so that's kind of a nice it's kind of like an insert but maybe a step up from that uh we did get the frank thomas number to 250 of the masterpiece um these are what did we say is like one in 88 packs or something like that um so cool little insert right there uh, the Daniel Ponce de Leon um, Cardinals uh, auto. So that is a nice auto. And then 
The Pedro Avila Blue Parallel Auto, number 38 out of 50. So you guys, uh, again, comment below. Let me know what you think about the set. Um, I I enjoyed opening this. I do think that I'm going to be doing a break uh, that includes a box of this uh, probably early ne next week, either Monday or Tuesday. We'll probably throw some chrome in there, maybe some holiday. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, but... Um, trying to keep that break a little on the cheap side so uh we'll figure something out for you guys um we're also going to be doing our 400 subscriber giveaway video here real quick um got to talk with the kids to figure out what they want to do um but we did hit 400 so i do know that we're going to be giving away a uh huge cubs superstar auto to 10 so be on the lookout for that um if you haven't already throw over to first hit that like button make sure that you comment below if you've got any questions um and let us know what you think about this set um and if you're not subscribed already now is a great time to subscribe to the channel we are growing um it's a great little community to get involved in so if you haven't done that be sure to do that and with that i hope all of you have a good day be good to each other enjoy the cards and we'll talk to you next time.